There we go. Yay, Christmas song. La 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 la. La 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 Sorry, lost myself there. Hey guys, this is uh, Tegazic in Robot Studio. I thought I'd talk you through my graphic equaliser cinematically if you like. Basically, all I've done was I've taken three music files, converted them into data points if you like, like how loud things are in the waveform, what, at what frequency in that, and then displaying each frequency, like this is high, uh, low frequency and this is high frequency. As you can see, this is done in real time. And I've got the three uh, music files from a web page from um, that uh, YouTuber. I think his name is called uh, Daniel or David or something. I can't think. Let's have a look. Daniel Schiffman. So if I put this, that code in the description down below, you can actually have a look at the original. This is the example that he done. I just uh, modified it just slightly so it will work in the Roblox. Like, I took his example, added a file reader, if you like. Oh, that's loud. And it spit out a uh, data point thing. So if I actually open that, I'll show you how the data points actually look. A load of numbers. It's basically the, uh, I think from frame one, it's uh, from left to right, I think it's 120, I can't think how many it is. Oh, 266, 256 uh, frequency samples in a table. It's bits out of the table. And... I wrote a, a writer, if you like, to uh, display that in a table, convert it to Lua, which is a good thing about uh, JavaScript and that. You can actually print out strings and I sort of fake converting it over. So then in Roblox, I just read that table in that data file like that. And as you can see, it works. Now, I think we're on song two by now. Do, 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 do. So it works with any any kind of tune. So all I have to do is just change a few things in the actual code itself, like this here. That's all I need to do, and how many what the sample rate is. That's all I need to do. It's uh, not really my example. It's actually that uh, Daniel Schiffman. It's his example that I uh, added to. There we go. For the Roblox actual file module script. Yeah, so we've got the start of the module script. If you actually op if I actually export something from Roblox, a simple little module script. You can see all those different points in the module script. Right, so it's just got that inside the module script. Uh, save to file. Right, let's go back. Where are we? There we go. So I'm basically just uh, echoing out or creating that dynamically inside the actual script, which is what this is, plus the end point, which is that. And then Roblox just reads it as a normal module, module script. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and the data I put in is the data from the song, which is here. 
that's all I do. And I just uh, spit it out as a bob, blob even. A data blob. I know, funny name. <laughs> Save the uh, extension to Roblox XML, I guess. I never really get that extension. RBXMX. Roblox. Module. Something, I don't know. Yeah, so that's all that's doing. I'm not too sure if I'll be releasing this in its current state because it's not my work. I've added to it, but it's not... Uh, I don't think it's legal to actually publish someone else's code as your own. So I might just keep this as a little example thing. Uh, well, we back to Roblox. Play. I've wrote a little code in Roblox side to actually go through the songs. There we go. And I was thinking of uh, putting, while the song was playing, putting some kind of uh, on-screen display showing what the song title is and what it is, and, but I never got around to actually doing that before doing that video. <laughs> oh well. I may do an updated version of this, maybe later, I don't know. It's just a one-off thing that I I remember sort of uh, a couple of weeks ago I was actually getting really uh, stressed out and the way I sort of get myself unstressed, if you like, is to literally get my brain engaged in something compl complicated. So that's the reason why I come up with this, some of these things. And this time I made a graphic equaliser. What next? I'm going to make a computer make a cup of tea. Oh well, hook some uh, robotics up to it, then it might do. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd show you, let's actually show you the script behind it. So, I'll just about end it there. So I'm getting the module files that was created by that web page. And there's three of them here for three different songs. Then I'm taking how many bars there is in that uh, in that file, in that data file, and then just playing it to the music from where the music position is, because it's synced up to the position. So I wonder if I'll be able to do this. Be able to fast forward it. Wait for it to load. Alright, so we time position one second apparently. Let's do 150. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, updated. 20. Yeah, so it's uh, tied up with the actual position. Let's actually turn that down again. Yeah, so it's tied to the position. Uh, let's do 195. Yeah, so updated real time. There's no animation as such. And that should be the next one. There we go. Let's go to the Christmas one. 135. The reason why I'm going five seconds before the end is so I don't crash it because it may come back as a return near, uh, Neil. There we go. Yay, Christmas song. La 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 Sorry, lost myself there. Yeah, so I'm actually thinking possibly making a little place with this playing in the background. But it has to be something that from Roblox to actually work. I'll probably be able to get around that. Or I'll upload these songs, I don't know. Oh well. Food for thought, as I say. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, before I get too carried away, this has been Tiazza in Roblox Studio on my graphic equalizer. And I should do that. Uh, what I've been talking about in my other videos 
about doing a hangout live stream kind of thing. I should really do that. <laughs> anyway, this has been Tikaza in Rebel Studio, and I catch you guys later. And Merry Christmas. <laughs>